Ooh. Oh, I could read this. Yay. Maybe can I grab some armor? Boop, boop, boop. Ew, ew. Okay, so I'm not wearing the prowler mail. I'm wearing the prowler armor. Prowler mail, not good. Well, it's okay, but it's not my fave. It might look better with the arms, but I don't have the arms, so. Well, it doesn't have the arms currently. Man, why is it only the refined prowler mail? Why can't I get refined prowler armor? Is there refined prowler armor anywhere? Because I would love to wear that. Okay. Let's see. We'll go through and chat with everybody really quick. It is good to see you, my friend. Okay, so is there nothing I'll see else? see you later. Farewell. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. What are they up to? Hmm. What? Sometimes there's a... There's a... A Harlequin. Need me for anything? Oh, no Until chatting. Late. Take care. No. No. Don't get me wrong. I love these new bard songs that she sings. Barefaced but free, frolicking, biting fierce. He wants to give wisdom, not orders. Ah. He died in the darkness, so a blue rose. <gasps> oh my in. gosh, I remember that. That was that's from Mass Effect 3. <laughs> If you leave and come back, the chest gives you another. And that's how we know too much. Somebody told me that one once, but I can't remember. I think it's a glitch where, like, if you leave and come back, there's a chest that gives you... Is, is it... I don't know. Is it from Origins? Or, like, if you put something in the chest and come back, it gives you something better? Rainier, Rainier, Rainier. It still hurts, but you helped make it better. Oh, bye, Larry! now. Thank you, I will have fun. I will have so much fun. Did I catch the, all the Harlequin? No, I did not catch the Harlequin Stonesman. Bye, Larry, thanks for coming in. We'll, we'll probably stop soon. You won't, miss too, you won't miss too much. They made bodies from the earth and the earth was afraid. It fought back, but they made it forget. Is that from, is that the Dwarven stuff? Like, did they make dwarves from like Titan? Like, is the earth technically a Titan, you know, type thing? Or is that like a another reference of something else? Hello. Hello. This cup plays hard in the wind. Canari first. Mix with elves. Add dwarfs. Ugh, doesn't anyone drink their booze one at a time anymore? And the elves here are still squirrely. Hmm. We'll talk later. Count on seeing you, yeah? Yeah. See if she say anything else. Obviously, the canary and elfy things make sense. Things elfy god, blah blah blah. Not my hurt to keep dwarfy ruins now. Mares can get off. Canary all over everyone's things. Who steps on their old stuff? Not as bad for dwarves as it was for Dalish, maybe. As was for Dalish, maybe. Oh, interesting. That's a sort of a sympathetic thing to say. Not as bad for dwarves as was for Dalish, maybe. Or maybe not sympathetic. She's more like because she thinks the Dalish were stupid. So maybe she thinks the dwarves weren't as stupid as the Dalish. Beric is fine, the undwarf. Tell Whittle, proper smart, she'll sort it. She can burn all the scary. Seen her do it. Still smooshy. Elfy serve is still all weird. Weird. Felt that things feel samey thing again, but not where we were. Weird. There are many empty pages, and then one that is dog-eared. When wonder we wear wonders Whittle. Words. So yeah, Sarah has this, I don't think we got the dialogue with her in the game, because if you bring her out with Solus, he talks about how she gets this weird deja vu thing going on sometimes, and I don't know, that, that's what people think maybe makes her more than what she appears to be. Let's see. Mm. 
Caillou! Okay, yes! Yes! Oh, hey, Elder Squirrel! You're the same color as Frog Raider and Stonesmith, so... Congrats! <laughs> I can't see any of you. Caillou, there are some quests that have no quest marker. Yeah, well, when I was trying to find my brother in the beginning, like, I couldn't find it, and it took me forever to actually figure out that the tram system can go different places. I didn't realize you could go to, like, the cryo suite as, like, a separate area as opposed to, like, the docking area or the atrium or something. I didn't realize you could do that. And it was just by accident that I figured it out, and so... I was upset that I couldn't go visit my brother. Plus, there was no marker telling... Because they're like, oh, you should go see your brother. And I was like, okay, where is he? How do I get to him? You know? It was kind of annoying. And it, there are some that you just have to kind of remember. And it's like, I mean, I get it, but... You know, it's like, oh, let's see how much you care. But, you know, otherwise... Ooh, Gertrude! She looks very cool. She looks like almost bird-like. I love it. Wow, we all, we are all just very talented at making pretty care. I love the very subtle blush she's got going on. That's really nice. And she's got such big eyes. I have a hard time making big eyed elf characters. I feel like they don't turn out well, but I really like the way you did yours. Like, she looks really nice. I like her. Very good. I love seeing you guys' characters. If you put things in the warden's key dress, it raises the items from, yeah, yeah. Is that what he was talking about in that that Cole was talking about? Sarah's worst nightmare? Which one what is? We don't exactly know about the dwarves. We know the elves fought the Titans and the dwarves are related to the Titans, but everything else is just hints. <laughs> You're looking for relics and you have to get lucky when you find them. Ugh. Eh. Man. Hey, boss. Oh, yeah. What can you tell me about the Kunari we're dealing with? These aren't Ben Hasrath. They're specialists working for a Vidasala. Ben Hasrath handle normal security. The Vidasala's people focus entirely on magic. They find it, they study it, they neutralize it. And they must be this bomb. using alluvians. I'd expect them to shatter any mirror they find. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, boss. So these, I, I think the Kunari weren't lying when they said, like, the main, I don't know, maybe they, I don't know, maybe, maybe they sanctioned the Vitasala to do all this, but a part of me thinks they were telling the truth when they tell us at the end that they had no idea what she was doing, you know? Well met, your worship. Charter, you're cool, I like you. Barrels of Gallic have been removed from every wing of the palace. The majority replace its structural weak points. Setting off the charges at a time when the palace was almost fully occupied, as expected to be during the last days of the Adult Council, could have ended in as many casualties from falling masonry as explosives. All available agents are making constant sweeps of the palace to ensure no barrel is missed and that the Canari attempt no further infiltration. Yeah, if you keep if you come back here and check Charter's notes, she gives you updates and stuff. Oh yeah, I have storage. Well, um... Dang, I have a lot of cool stuff in there. I could sell it all and make a crap ton of money, but I don't really want to. Why do I still have that? <laughs> See, there's Dread. I have Dread. I just like Bull's, um... His Canari face paint better. Although that actually really matches his, uh, his current armor really well. <laughs> I like it, but I like the one he's got on. It looks really cool. Um, I guess, I mean, I'm not bringing him out, but let's give Cole the Armada Captain's Knife just because it's cool. Wow, is it not? Oh, it's got a better, well, no, it's not better, actually. It's not better, but all right, we'll put it away so it doesn't take up space. Um... Inventory. Boop, 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 Where are you at? What was it? What was it? It was a... Right, it was... Uh, there it is. Okay, I was like, what am I doing? Valerium scepter. 
I guess we'll put the boon of the spoon away. I don't I like it. It's so cool. I could sell those, though. Really quick. Let's see. Wait, okay. Song of the Marshes. Ooh, we have Iron Bull. It's technically better in some ways. What does he actually have right now, actually? Did I take away his sword? Oh, no. Okay, that, okay. Right, right, right. Okay. This is a one-handed weapon. Where's Cassandra? You love it? You can go straight to- What? You can go straight to your space? What? You can go straight to space with a nomad? She is very traditional elven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, bye, every- Bye, Rain. Bye, everyone. Uh -huh. Bye, Rain. Is- Ooh, Stone Smith. I like that color. Yeah. You'll show your- Nice, Gertrude. Yes, yes. Show, show us your characters. Uh, you will- Oh, hold Y. Oh, because that takes you right back to the Tempest, doesn't it? Let's see, Ida, Ida, more mods, ponytails. Oh my gosh, I love it! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I love it. Thank you, Ida. Uh, Kayuk, let's see what you've got. Is this, is this the Nomad flying straight into space, or? Oh my gosh, you've upgraded it! Oh, that's so cool. I do want to get the cool upgrades. Like, the cool, like, just, like, the weight. Like, the design. Like, if nothing else. Just, like, I want to design the way it looks. This is a cool planet, though. And look at that thing in the background. What is that flying Thresher Maw of Doom? There's a flying Thresher Maw back there. Let's see. Let's see. Looks like the mo it modder has gone for the canary being an elf with horns. Well, there is indicate there are indications that the canary like the canary were elves mixed with dragon's blood back in the day. As some sort of weird experiment. Ooh, cool frog raider. That's an epic picture. Oh, that is an epic picture. And the, the 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 dragon armor looks so good on your elf. How did you how did you handle how did you manage that? I can never get that. I always feel like the dragon armor looks so weird on my elf. That's really cool. Yeah yeah, I can see it. Looking fab and fashionable. No, I totally saw Ka Kayuk. Something in the background. Something I don't want to fight. Oh my gosh, how pretty! I love this hair! Oh my gosh. Actually, I, I have like 70 mods like favorited that are basically all like hair options and I just love them. Um, loving all pictures. Yeah! Or just ridiculously long. The only thing about the long hair is that it doesn't, um... It can clip sometimes, I know, but holy crap, I want it so bad. So bad. Wait, where's the Cassandra? All right. Oh, did I not? I thought I made one for Cassandra. I guess not. Oh, no, I put the dragon slaying rune in it. That's what I did. What is this? 174, 222, wow, yeah, uh, bleh. I mean, this one's cool, but, wow. But this one, this one does do the damage versus dragons, so I could give it to her when we fight it, when we, we I think we fight one more dragon. Oh, man, I mean, technically this one, this one's way better, but this one has the really cool jumpy thing. I could get the, I could put a rune in it. I could put a rune in it. Wow. This one's actually, the, the glowing ice sword that I made him isn't as good. It does have the master drag dragon slaying rune though. 279 as opposed to like a, so why is it 279 area of effect damage but a 351 damage per second? Like, is it, is it, is it the DPS I should look at, or is it the, is it the actual, like, 298 AOE, or whatever damage? 
That, that, that one I, I was never really sure about. Because technically this has the best damage, but it is... I don't know. They're all good. They're all cool. Let's sell, let's sell that one. And I keep all my bows because they're cool. And do I have anything I can sell? <laughs> I have so many. I have so many! Ah, oh, some belts. Maybe I will give most of it like white hair and canard. Well, yeah, because it's in the advertised picture. It looked like the picture that they advertised the canary on had this gorgeous white hair. And it does look really cool. DPS is potential damage overall. Okay. If it's not, a, you have to you have to do stuff to get it work. Oh, gross. <laughs> I don't want to be working on mods. I don't want to make them work. Base damage will affect your skills, DPS, when you're actually hitting. Really? That picture was taken by the Xbox after reaching level 20, Frogger. That's cool. Deep damage is what you do to all enemies, but the rune upgrades the DPS. Oh. All the skills that say 100% weapon damage, that's the base damage. You have to play with the mesh. Oh, God. Uh, I don't know if I could be willing to do that. Uh, nah. What kind of I, I'm well okay never mind. I don't know. I'm running out of room. I'm gonna eventually have to start selling things. Wardrobe? Nope. I need like a sell place. Can I sell things in here? Craft armor. Turn it around. Oh, good. I can do that. Okay. I was thinking there had to be a way to do that. Tint my armor. Actually, I want to tint really quick. I want to tint the armor of the dragon and just see what I like. Ooh. That's cool looking. I don't think I'll wear it, but ooh, that's cool. The Avar cotton. Oh, look at that. It's always crazy to me when the Avar, or there are certain things that like change the color. Look at that. Like, the, the the stuff next to the shoulder pads, they're, like, slightly changing color according to what what cloth I've got, even though that I think that's technically leather. Ooh, the second nether cloth looks really pretty. Oh, I like it. It's a beautiful color. It's not really, ta I mean, it would work on Talon, but it's not really in his color scheme. The blue looks so good on you, Talon. Semi, always good. The Royal Sea Silk looks interesting. I like the Royal Sea Silk, actually. What that does. Look at that yellow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Darkened Semi looks good. I actually think I kind of like the way the, the Royal Sea Silk looks. Even though I might never wear this. Ooh. But it was already that dark of a color, I think. No, it wasn't. I like the, I like this color, though. Whatever color that is. Wait, what? We're what? We're changing it again? Is it, That's the same thing, right? We're just messing with the same thing? That's weird. Tint it! Even though I might never wear it. It does look pretty cool, but it's... Oh, man, I don't know. Should we get it? Let's give it a try. We'll give it a try. Wait, no. I gotta, I gotta equip it. Let's, 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 uh... Let's just put it on for a bit and see how we, see how we do. See if we like it. Go for a hair up that looks like it'll be a long down. Yeah. Really love what... This for female noble. 
Ooh, that is, I love that look. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. People made some really nice mods, really. Wait, what? Oh, Kai, and I see yours. Okay. Kai, ooh, I love that armor. He looks pretty intense. Nice, Kayuk. Nice, Gertrude. Nice, Kunari guy. I like it. Very war leader ish. Nice. Yeah. Oh, how much? How much space did I get for turning in stuff? Oh, good. I got quite a bit of space for turning in stuff. Like for against uh, those guys. You know what I'm saying? against demons and stuff. Can I sell it here? No? Okay. Just this lady. <laughs> Let's sell. What? I just want to sell my junk. Not these, just junk. Okay. Alright, that worked out. That was good. That worked. I think Cullen might say something. I'm, I'm keeping an eye out for the Harlequins. I don't think I'll catch them, but just keeping an eye out. See, if you notice, I remember, I remember I noticed when I first played, the only people who ever move around, I thought it was interesting, I was like, oh look, there are people moving. You know, they don't usually move in this game very much. The only people that move, though, are elven servants. See? The only ones walking around are elven servants. Everybody else stays stationary. Inquisitor? Oh, okay, you know what I'm saying. Oh, hey, here's something to read. Yes, the missing servants. Da, 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 da. Oh, welcome, Black Femme Geek. Is Black Femme Geek here? I missed it. Where are you at? Maybe. There you are. I see you now. Hi, Black Femme Geek. <laughs> yeah, almost missed you between posts. Not often that you get Kunari with facial hair. Yeah. Sarah probably hates her on site. Well, I think we're almost done, though. I'm sorry, Black Femke. I knew it was foolish to hope the Exalted Council would go smoothly. Um. With Leliana, we're always very... We trust each... I think Talon trusts Leliana a lot, so... How much damage control should we be doing? He's always his more darker Josie side worried, with her. But I have faith in her. She can keep the delegates calm. Okay, bye. Perhaps later, Liliana. I'd be right here if you need anything. Bye. Let's see, will Dorian say anything? Let's check Vivian. <gasps> Darling, what can I do for Nothing. you? Nothing. We'll talk another time. Oh, you've been watching for a while. Oh, okay, that's right. I guess I guess your name doesn't just pop in whenever you start watching. Well, good to see you. Good to hear from you. Glad you could see more of it. This time of year, it'll be difficult to find a caravan to go all the way back home. Maybe a sea voyage. I could get captured by Burly Canary Pirates. No, <laughs> Bye. Another time. Dorian, if you got captured by Burly Canary Sea Pirates, I would rescue you. Uh, did I check down here for dog treats? Pretty sure, pretty sure I got most, if not all of them. <laughs> darling, 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 darling. Oh crap, I wasn't even, I was looking at the chat, dang it. I was looking at chat and I just heard her go away. Dang it, it's impossible. It's impossible. Eh, more to read. The commander's new dog is precious. Have you seen that magnificent creature by the gazebo? Such a powerful frame when you're about. It's so charming seeing behaviors if behave as if they own the place. The commander's new dog is precious as well. <laughs> oh, that's so... Does she ever cast them your way? I would be so lucky. I think there's different notes that pop up throughout, like, as, as the game progresses. But, I don't know, I'm not quite sure. 
We just got a bullet glimpse into Bull and Dorian. But no, we didn't because they do, they aren't a thing. They aren't a thing because we're what? a thing. Where's the dog treat? And or whatever random item the game wants me to pick up. There it is! Dog tree! I freaking love the plants in this game. Like, look at how colorful the freaking... Oh, and there's so many pretty flowers everywhere! Ah, I can't handle how pretty it is! Look! Elf. Only one's moving. Why not? Why not, indeed. Ah! Well, you look super ready to go. Look at this giant bugle horn here. And pie. And another giant bugle. <sighs> Letter to RLT Gan. They did say the villain was preoccupied. He has certainly spent enough time walking up with his advisors. Everyone was waiting to see what will come. Hmm. It really, Tegan's behavior does bother me. I don't know, something with, maybe having um, Arlesa, having the Arlesa like constantly hounding him changed him for the worse, you know what I mean? That looks kind of like Celine, and technically that shouldn't be here because Celine is dead. Is it, what? Is it below me? Oh, right there. Right, this is one of those things, like you get like eight or seven or eight items that don't really do anything in the game and they don't take up space. Uh, if I didn't get, yeah, the, the dog gives you a gift, that's right. Let's see, oh, okay, let's see. Why can't you have both PB and or I know, why aren't threesomes a thing? Oh, wow, Gertrude, she has such a delicate face. And that shade of red looks so good. She looks so intense there. Like, this looks like a professional, like, portrait. Like, you could, like, frame that and put it on your wall. You know what I'm saying? Like, that looks, she's very good. Very good. Wow, you've made some really nice ones. You love the fact that the eyes are so pretty in this game? I know, they really are. The eyes are so nice. The game, they really did a good job with this game. There are, th like, like the hairstyles could use some work, but... Other than that... Elf! Those for Reldens. <laughs> Dang, I don't have them all. I got them all last time. I know I did, but I don't have them all this time, apparently. Perhaps for real. I know, I'm scaring the crap out of everybody. But, uh, hopefully the Nets will just keep building that. Yeah, keep building on, like, what they've got. I did hear that Mark, or not Mark, Mike Laidlaw, one of the direct, one of the developers of, uh, Inquisition, because somebody asked about having, um, like, hair for, like, black people again, like, in, in Inquisition, or in the next, in the next Dragon Age game, like, they're like, I would just like hair that is, you know, because I, because I really hate just giving, like, bland, straight hair to my, you know, my black character, you know, I'd love to have you know, actually, like, hair, that's, like, you know, kind of what we have in real life, you know, and, uh, Mike Laidlaw said, he's like, oh, he's like, if it ever, because, you know, of course, they're keeping it secret, right, they're like, if, you know, if it ever happens, they're like, we are totally gonna steal the mesh for Liam's hair for the next game, and I was like, that's good, the only thing that I thought was strange in Andromeda was that, um, the, the female characters don't really get any black hair option, you know? Like, like there's two, op the dudes have two options. One of them has an afro, and then one of them has, like, sort of a cornrow-y look, but it's not cornrows, it's just, like, it's, like, it's, a cur it's like really tight, shorter curls, you know? But the girls don't get an option like that, and I thought that was a little bit odd, you know? Like, 
I'm like, the girls could have totally worked one of those hairs, you know, one of those hair types, but they just kind of, the only one that's even similar, maybe, it's just sort of a, like a rebel style, is like the really tight braids that are on the top of the head, but then the, the sides, it's not even complete cornrows because the sides are shaved, you know? So I thought that was kind of weird that they didn't give girls that option too. But... No, and the canary get cornrows. Yeah, the hair, the canary only get cornrows in, in Inquisition, unfortunately. It's been a while since so many get out. <laughs> well, I think, I think I'm going to call it here. Um, we just did that one other mission, and the next time we're going to go in and... Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that. I think that's just a scar in the sky, but I'm always, I'm always suspicious of it. But yeah, next time we'll go track the Vitisaladon in my favorite place in this game, which is the Vitrithara Library. And, uh, which is funny because when I named my warden, I didn't realize that the library was named the Vitrithara, the Vitrithara Library. And I thought that was really cool. I thought my warden, my warden would like figure, would, would like finding out that there was a library that had her name. You know, it'd be cool. It'd be cool. Thank you guys again for coming. I appreciate it. Thanks for talking about Andromeda with me while we play Inquisition. I love both of these games. It's, it's, I, I'm, in, I'm in a happy place right now. So, um, but yes, thank you guys again. And I will see you when I see you next.